Welcome back guys, JC here, continuing with the BL Heli playlist. If you haven't been watching the playlist, then look in the description below or top right of your screen to find a link to that playlist for the other videos. This video will be covering how to calibrate one-shot 125 ESCs. I will go ahead and say that with a lot of things in this hobby, uh, many people have one way of doing it, but when it comes to ESCs, everybody has a different way. So I am going to show you my way. If you don't like my way, then I'm sure you will find a video of someone showing you a different way that you may like better. Uh, but this is my personal way, and everyone thinks you know they have the best way, so I think I have the best way, but hey, that's just me. Uh, the first thing we, we want to do before we even get into calibrating ESCs is uh, go to your receiver and you want to calibrate your channel endpoints to be exactly 1000 to 2000. You also want to ch calibrate the uh, midpoints to be 1500 or at least as close as you can get it. I do have a video showing you how to do this. Uh, look in my Betaflight playlist. I will also leave the link to that in the description as well and once you have all three of these calibrated you can continue now some transmitters don't have this ability uh, to calibrate the channel endpoints and for you guys I will talk about that in just one second so now we want to go to configuration and the defaults I, le I think these defaults are perfectly fine this is actually what you want to use 1000 for the minimum 2000 for the maximum 1500 for middle and the minimum throttle, this you can change if you want, but I find 1070 to be just fine. Now for those of you that cannot calibrate your channel endpoints, what you want to do is find your minimum, whenever you hold the stick all the way down, find your maximum, and you want to set your minimum command to whatever that minimum was, and set your maximum to whatever that maximum was at least for th throttle. For the other channels, uh, I'm not going to talk about that right now. We're just talking about throttle, but at least do that for throttle. And then for your minimum throttle, you want this to be higher than whatever your minimum command is. Just to keep things simple, I would say go 70 higher than whatever your minimum command uh, you set to. Now let's go to the BL Heli Suite. So I will choose my COM port, connect, plug in lipo battery uh, that is one thing I forgot to mention you cannot be connected to beta flight and the bail heli suite at the same time I'm actually glad I accidentally did that so I could uh, that reminded me to tell you so now let me unplug this battery now try connecting now plug it in now read setup okay there we go so it worked out so now what we want to do is make sure you have programming by TX turned on. Any other time I would say turn this off. So once you get done with this, once you get done with everything, I would say turn this off. You can leave it on, but that's just my recommendation. Turn it off and make sure you write setup. Uh, but for now, turn it on, write setup. After you've written setup, then go to motors. Click I understand the risk. Make sure you do not have props on your multi-rotor. Now we want to click calibrate ESCs and whatever your minimum command was you want to place this there and then click OK. I am now going to unplug my LiPo battery, click OK, plug it back in. I'm going to wait for this series of tones to end. Okay now it's done, I will click OK. That series of tones means, well the first series of tones we heard was, uh, it means that it entered the calibration mode. That series of tones means that it just finished. So now we want to go back to Atmel ESC setup and we will have to disconnect the battery, click connect, reconnect the battery, read setup. Notice how number four is different from number one. Uh, well two and three is is an orange color because 
Uh, I actually changed the motor direction, but 4 is grayed out, meaning that it's different. And I am going to guess right now that something with the min or max throttle is different from the three other ESCs. So we will right click it. Uh, the minimum was set to 1084, max was 1980. Right click the next one, it's the same. Right click the next one, it's the same. Right click the next one, and there it is. There's the difference. 1984 so it's four off and four off is going to be more than fine you can actually be like I'm gonna say you could be like 12 off maybe even more than that just a really quick explanation there are oscillators in the ESC oscillators are things that people put into computers and processors to time things so this is basically your timing uh, it's a PWM signal that this number is actually microseconds, so 1,000 to 2,000 means there's going to be a 1,000 microsecond difference. Uh, now the difference between here, we are talking 4 microseconds. Now I just want to test it, and after this test, that will determine if we need to manually calibrate this some more. So I will disconnect. Minimize this, go into Betaflight connect, go to motors, check I understand the risk, and I'm going to slide this up, okay so the motors are working, now what I want to do is I'm going to use the up arrow on my keyboard and you can move these up one at a time. And honestly I, I don't even remember what the min was set to, what was it, 1088 something like that, so around there is when the motors should start spinning. All right, let me move this to where you can see it. Okay, so I'm going to move it up. We got something. All right, we got motor number three jittering. Go up again. Now, one, two, and three are jittering, but four is not. Go up again. Now, four is jittering. Go up again. So, at 1088, they are all spinning except for motor number four. So what I'm going to do is bring that back down. So motors th one, two, and three are pretty much on the same page. Motor four is not. So I'm going to disconnect and go back into the Beale Heli Suite. Unplug the battery. Now I'll plug in my LiPo, read setup. And then for number four, so we see here that one, two, and three all have a minimum of 1084, but num number four has 1088. So what I'm going to do is actually bring this down to 1084. That's probably where it needs to be anyway. So the calibration was off by a little bit, but we will just touch it up by hand. And I'm, uh, I'm now going to write setup, disconnect, go back into beta flight. Go back to motors and do it all over again. Okay, so now motor number four is starting by itself. Then if I go higher, and now we get the rest kind of moving, but four is constantly moving. So you know what? Maybe maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe BL Heli outsmarted me and BL Heli was correct. So now because uh, BL Heli placed motor number four at 1088 and that seemed to be much closer. I know we can't go in between. If we could go in between that would be great, but we can't. So 1086 would probably be perfect, but out of 1084 and 1088, 1088 seemed to work the best. Uh, so I'm just going to set it back to 1088, right setup, and there we go, call it a day. As far as the max throttle, honestly, I don't ever mess with that because unless it's unless you calibrate your ESCs and they are over 2000, which is, is going to be wrong, uh, well, technically it's right, but it's wrong. See, this is a hard explanation.
when you were at max throttle, whenever you put your stick on your transmitter all the way up for max throttle, this is actually, they calibrate this lower than 2000. We can't have this at 1000 and 2000 because there is going to be not a timing difference, but God, I really suck at explaining this. All I'm going to say is, long story short, I'm just going to leave max throttle right where it is. I'm not going to touch it. That is, I know that's perfectly fine, and that is going to work perfect. Um, there's no reason to even attempt touching it up by hand. But that's just me. That's just the way I do it. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, check out the BL Heli playlist for more upcoming videos, and I will see you there.